Hello guys, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful July Twin Flame reading. It's going to be for this July 2022 and I'm going to be seeing what's going to be going on for the Divine Masculines and you Divine Feminines to see what you're going to be learning, what's going to be going on for you and what is coming for you as well. So I'm very excited about doing it. Um, I can't believe that we're coming into July, it's gone so quickly June. So I'm going to use lots of different decks um, to see what's going on for you in July. But as I said, I'm going to start with the Divine Masculines. And I'm going to start with the Enchanted Map Oracle deck to see what comes through. And then I'll go on and use exactly the same decks for you as well, Divine Feminines. Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me. It means the world. I'm so very grateful. And if you are new, I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because that's how I channel. Please don't be offended. Just put it into your situation, how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. So let's see. What's going to be going on for this July 2022 for the Divine Masculines? What is it they're going to be feeling? What are they going to be learning? And what is it bringing for the Divine Masculines? Nice, clear message, please. What do we need to know for this July? What's going to be happening for the Divine Masculines? Magic stream and it's number 18. So magic is going to be happening during this month. <laughs> um, and it's going to be flowing. Um, and at the bottom of the deck is solitude. So that's number 13 as well. So one and three is four, which is a building on solid foundation. And the divine muskins, you know, some of your divine muskins may have been in solitude, really isolated themselves. So they can build on this solid foundation. So they, you know, they've been letting go of the old, removing those layers, and completely starting from fresh. And everything that they've build, been building on, from now on, is solid, because they've been dealing with themselves, learning about themselves, finding themselves, finding the truth, and remembering. The truth of who they are so like I said from then on everything is so solid and because of that things are going to be flowing so much better in this month of July the magic stream just flowing so I'm going to get all the oracle cards out and then I'll go more in depth so wisdom of the oracles coming through next I feel that <laughs> so let's see what else is going to be going on What's the Divine Masculines going to be feeling, learning, experiencing? What's their energy during this month of July? And what is it bringing for the Divine Masculines? Nice, clear message. So I feel like the Divine Masculines are going to be coming out of this solitude during the month of July. <clears throat> because of everything they've learnt. What else is it that we need to know about the Divine Masculines? during this month of July 2022. They're going, they're going to be going to the distance, guys. They're going to be coming out of hiding and they're going with this flow of life, the magic stream, because they're prepared to do this, they're feeling more ready. And it's number 47, which is 11, guys. Four and seven is 11, which is alignment. And it is a twin flame number. And going back to Magic Stream, that is number 18. So you could be seeing any of these numbers. And 1 and 8 is 9, which is near end of a cycle. Completion. And it's about awareness of, you know, that you're on this spiritual path as well. And following your calling. Let's move these up a little bit so you can see better. So next I'm going to be using the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck to see what else is coming through. 
So magic is going to be happening during this month of July because the Divine Masculines are just going with this magic stream, going with the flow and they're going the distance. The ups and the downs and everything and everything that they've learned, you know, about the ups and downs, they have what it takes to be able to go with the flow now because they're feeling more secure within themselves because they've opened up to higher power. They're feeling so connected. They're feeling strong and as if they, you know, can really go this distance now. <clears throat> so what else is it that we need to know? So what else is it that we need to know for this month of July 2022 about the Divine Musclings? What's it bringing for the Divine Musclings and what they're going to be feeling, learning, experiencing during this time? Nice clear message. inner peace yeah they're going to be feeling so much more peaceful because they found that inner peace in that sort of solitude and at the bottom of the deck is potential <laughs> there is so much potential when we find that inner peace and we see so many opportunities we have new ideas and everything because our whole perception has completely changed so next i'm going to be using the power of love <laughs> i love this deck to see what else is going on but it's looking good so far <laughs> lots of positive things happening they're going to be feeling so strong during this month of July because of this inner peace and um, because they're not resisting this you know the flow of life this stream they're going with it what else is it that we need to know for July? Nice clear message for the Divine Masculines, please. What is it bringing for the Divine Masculines? And what are they going to be learning? What are they going to be experiencing? Nice clear message, please. Let's do that again. virtue you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow beautiful and at the bottom of the deck is action yeah which goes with go the distance there's going to be a lot of action during this month so because the divine muslims have been focusing on building on this solid foundation and getting rid of the old they are acknowledging that they are such a powerful being so they're beginning to share, you know, their gifts, their qualities with others because they're feeling comfortable with themselves. They're feeling more confident with themselves because they know that they their purpose is to be their authentic self. So they do, you know, they have learned so much and this is going to be coming through strong in this month of July. And they're becoming this role model and people are actually being drawn to them because they're feeling this sense of warmth coming from the Divine Masculines because they're comfortable with themselves because they're giving this love to themselves and it is radiating out into the universe, into the world because their light is shining bright they're taking the lead in setting a great example, a good example to others because their interaction with others is coming from a place of love kindness and as I always say to you because when you're giving love to yourself what you give back from then on is so powerful because it starts with you <laughs> so that's amazing isn't it so they're going to be noticed so much more because of the internal work so next I'm going to use the spell casting deck to see what else is coming through so, what else is it that we need to know for this month of July 2022? How are the Divine Muscles going to be feeling, what they're going to be experiencing, what they're going to be learning, working through, and what is it bringing for the Divine Muscles? Nice, clear message, please. What is it that's going to be going on with the Divine Muscles during this month of July? 2022. That was not to come to you guys, really. But I'm going to actually cut 
cut them again and make them up. It's moved itself. Fertility, yeah. New, fresh, and inspiration. They're going to feel this inspiration during this month of July. New opportunities, like I said, new ideas. And this is all because they found that light within. <laughs> and it's got glowing, guys. Because they're feeling good. It's a time for new ideas, new opportunities to be birthed. And this is a great time during this month. Everything's coming together because they're going with the flow. <laughs> this fertility. So everything that has come through so far is about new beginnings, fresh start, this rebirth and it all coming together and all the pieces of the puzzle is all been fit, you know, they're fitting together now. So let's get one more from the Soul Coaching Deck, what your soul wants you to know, to see what else we need to know. <laughs> What else is going to be going on with the Divine Masculines? I mean, it is a wonderful reading of what is going to be going on for July. What else is it that we need to know for the Divine Masculines? What they're going to be feeling, what they're going to be learning, what they're going to be experiencing, and what is July bringing for the Divine Masculines? Nice, clear message, please. Abundance, there you go. Abundance. You can't get any better than that, guys, can you? Delight. Yeah, delight. July is going to be a delight for the Divine Masculines. Because hmm. all that hard work, that inner work, being in this solitude, feeling isolated, allowing this transformation to actually occur, to have this healing chaos it's all coming together and they're going to be seeing the results and the benefits of all that inner work and they're feeling ready strong because they're going with the flow they it, and this is all down to feeling safe and protected feeling this security from higher power because they are coming from a place of truth they're trusting themselves and to really be able to trust yourself is showing that you're having this relationship with God, the universe, with higher power, with the angels, that you're, you're allowing that support in. And they're opening up to so much abundance, so much abundance. And these new ideas, these opportunities, they're manifesting and attracting that to themselves. And they're dedicated and so committed to go to the go the distance because of their spiritual awareness. They're so conscious. They're putting the work in and doing everything it takes to look after themselves, to be in this place of inner you know, inner peace. They're making time for themselves and they're really observing their thoughts, the chatter in their heads, and they're doing things to help them manage and take responsibility of themselves. And that is, and that means that the Divine Muslims glow. We all glow when we're feeling peaceful and we're feeling relaxed and protected because we're trusting ourselves, we're feeling good about ourselves and we're having this relationship with the universe, with God. Whatever word you know your divine masculine prefers to use and yourself, which brings this rebirth, this fertility. <laughs> and it's you know, this is uh, as well, it's not they're not giving up. They're going down this magic stream. They're not resisting. They're willing to go with the ups and downs they're very clear on that everything does happen for their highest good 
and they have the strength to ride these waves of the high and low. And because of all that, it's, it's, it's going to be this abundance, it's just going to be flowing to them. They're going to be bringing people, fresh, new people in their life, their soul family, the soul tribe. And they're going to be sharing their love and their qualities with others. <laughs> so that's amazing, isn't it? So I'm going to see what's going on with you now, Divine Feminines, during this month of July, what it's bringing for you. So I'm going to move those down a little bit so I've got room to do you. So let's see what comes through with the Enchanted Map. So what is it, the Divine Feminines? What is it that's going to be going on with the Divine Feminines during this month of July 2022? What are they going to be learning? What are they going to be experiencing? What are they going to be feeling? And what is it bringing for the Divine Feminines? Nice, clear message. What do we need to know? What's going to be going on for July 2022? Nice, clear message. Twenty-four stuck in the mud, <laughs> stuck in the mud, and that beautiful elephant looked. And the number is twenty-four. So two and four is six, which is seeing through the illusions to get to the place of peace and harmony. And two is about universal power coming together, partnership. And four, four is about solid foundations. And we've got again forty-four strength. <laughs> You're going to be feeling strong during this month of July. What I'm feeling so far with the energy and what's come through at the moment. And you're going to have the strength to get out of this place of where you, you're feeling stuck. Things are going to change because of this strength. And because we've had, you know, we've got, you could be seeing four, four, four as well. Because we've got those numbers, I mean, it is about solid foundation. Again, because you've built, been building and making solid foundation for yourself, the same as what comes through for the Divine Masculine, so you're going to have that strength. Because what you're building is solid. It's not going to crumble. It's not going to fall apart. Because you've done that deep inner work with self. Just taking this responsibility of self and this self-love. So next it was Wisdom of the Oracle, wasn't it, I use? So I'm going to use the same for you as well. So let's see, what more is it that we need to know with this stuck in the mud? We know that you're going to feel strong. You're going to have this strength and passion in July to be able to get out of this place of feeling stuck in the mud. What else is it that we need to know about the divine feminines? Nice, clear message, please. New life, there you go. Come on, guys. This is amazing, isn't it? New life, and it's 39. And at the bottom of the deck is time to go it's time to go for this new life and you're going to have the strength to get out of this place where you've been stuck in this mud huh it's 45 so we've got nine coming through again and we've got five which is moving and change and four so the fours are definitely coming through with this solid foundation and we have to have that solid foundation to be able to feel strong to get out of this place of being stuck because we want this new life and this new life is coming and so three and nine is 12. Um, so you could be seeing the numbers 12 or you could be seeing threes, which is about faith. And like I said, nine is about having the awareness of your spiritual path and it's near end of a completion as well. Um, so new life, you're gonna get out of the old, feeling stuck into this new life. Fresh start. 
new beginnings coming through for you as well, Divine Feminines. So let's do see what's coming through with the Sacred Destiny as well. So what is it? So what else would we need to know for the Divine Feminines about this new life? Feeling, experiencing, and what's your life bringing for them? Nice, a clear message, please. Stand still. <laughs> How funny is that? Stuck in the mud and stand still. So this, is, I, I feel that this is, you know, what's going to change from, for you. Well, this the, is that you're coming out of this standstill. We're going to feel strong. And if you if it feels that way right now that you know everything's just quiet and nothing's really happening and apart from the fact that you feel things are changing but you can't see it you are going to see this new life and it's about patience as well but this with this standstill you're going to be learning more and more about patience and I know that that word really irritates the divine feminines because like how much more patience do you want me to have but that is a big part of this journey is about learning in god's timing and divine time timing and know that you know when things are at a standstill when you do feel you're stuck is because there is so much happening behind the scenes you can't actually see to be able to get to this place of this new life simplicity life is simple when you get out of your own way when you're just being Trusting yourself and trusting God and how high the power life is going to become. This new life, this is how you're going to be living your life in, with simplicity. Not making everything so complicated because of what goes on in the head, because of the changes that you've made um, about, you know, within that changes your perception of life. Your outlook has changed so much. You're not so rigid, you're not so strict and thinking things have to be done at a certain time, you're more relaxed. The things that you used to believe, your belief systems completely change, you've reprogrammed yourself by trusting in what you believe and trust and what you know is right for you. Um, that is what's going to be happening in your new life. And to know, yeah, everything is happening that you can't see. And I feel that you will be seeing this and this new life in July. So what did I use next? I think it was... Um, now it's going to be the power of love for you, Divine Feminine. So let's see. I'm very interested what's coming through. <laughs> what else is going on with the Divine Feminines during this July 2022? What's it bringing forward and how they're going to be feeling what they could be experiencing? So some of the, you know, of July, you could be feeling stuck and as if things are at a standstill. But, I, you know, you're going to, something's going to be revealed, I feel. And you're going to have the strength to see through these illusions, to stand strong and, you know, actually be comfortable if you feel as if you're stuck. Because you have that deeper knowing that things are working out for this new life. Let's see. Let's get more to see what else self-love you realize that love of self is necessary to love another and at the bottom of the deck is cooperation in your quest to manifest in the energy of love you realize that every person and experience has value yeah so you are going to be cooperating with others bringing your soul family and your soul tribe in um, they're going to help you with your manifestation, so be open. Um, and most importantly, this is cooperation with, you know, having this relationship with God, with the universe, with the angels. Not to think that you've got to do everything yourself, to actually ask for this support, this love, and help with what it is that you want to manifest, to be open to new people and new ideas and to be so much more flexible as well 
and cooperation is about you valuing other people and their experiences as well. Knowing that everybody's journey is unique and that we, we're not all the same, we don't have to be the same. And you're gonna be able to value other people so much more now because you can identify yourself in others because you're seeing yourself in a different light and you're taking this responsibility of yourself, managing yourself. So be open in this month of July to get the support that you're seeking, that you're looking for, be open. And because we've got self-love as well and we've got stand still stuck in the mud, um, during these times in this month of July, if you feel that everything is at a standstill and that you're stuck, this is the time for you to really focus on this self-love. Instead of thinking about why is this not happening, why is that not happening, why, is, why can't I see this new life, focus on this self-love. That is what you're being shown in this time. And I've, as I've said to you before in other readings, self-love isn't just about you treating yourself and looking in the mirror and saying I love you. It's a lot more than that, it's a lot deeper than that. It's about really living your life, choosing yourself, which makes at times things very difficult and uncomfortable because we do have to use our voice and we have to change things. We have to remove people or we have to remove ourselves from certain situations that before where we would just put up with it because we think, oh, well, you know, because we're thinking about others all the time or we just, you know, just don't want to be put in that uncomfortable situation. When you're choosing yourself, you do have to be so strong and brave to make these changes where life is flowing for you that you're actually living the life that you want to instead of being fearful oh, I can't do that because of this or I can't say that because I'm upsetting this person that isn't giving love to yourself that's not you realising your self-worth you're putting the situation or the other people before yourself because you don't want to upset them or you're considering their feelings more than your own and this has been, you know, having the awareness as well about taking care of yourself, really taking care of yourself, resting, because on this journey, it is very exhausting and painful at times, draining. It's making time to have meditation, doing something that you love, to rest, to actually sleep, to have a nap. <laughs> Because you are shifting so much and you are opening up more and more to this light. So much light has been put into your body. And we do have all these different symptoms and things, ascension symptoms, and we then you know what's going on with the planets and with the moon cycles, we feel all over the place. So you've got to take care of yourself. And the ego would like to come in and say, Well, I haven't got time for that, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. You have to change all that. And I have recently spoken about that in the reading that I've done. So we that, that involves a lot, this self-love. So when there is, things are a standstill or whatever, it, it, this is about you learning that to go back to this self-love and we can't love others and we can't give to others unless we're loving ourselves. And I know that, that sounds really irritating at times, especially if you're, you know, the ego's kicking off, um, because it's frustrated and you're wanting to see change. You don't, you know, you're sick and tired of hearing about this self-love. <laughs> but that is what this journey is about. It's about you. So let's see what else comes up through. So next it's the spell casting oracle deck. So what else is going on for the Divine Feminines during this month of July? Nice clear message, please. What's it bringing for the Divine Feminines and what they're going to be learning, what they're going to be feeling? 
what is their energy going to be? Nice, clear message, please. Willpower. <laughs> Willpower. You'll have the discipline. You will have the discipline. You will feel strong. And trust, yeah. So trust this new life. Trust in the time of feeling in this standstill. If that, that is what happens for you some of the time in July and <laughs> feeling stuck. But you will, you're going to come out of this. And the way to come out of this is self-love. And have the willpower, have the discipline to actually take time out of your day to give to yourself. So you can feel and be connected to this trust. Because again... It isn't just about saying I trust. It's about feeling. And that will be felt when you trust 100%. And that you're letting go of control. You're really trusting your intuition. Trusting your feelings. That is felt. Because this is all about energy. When you're not trusting, that is when we do get impatient, we get frustrated and we feel our life is at a standstill and that nothing's actually happening. It's all about perception again. And, you know, in the times of feeling this as well is the time to have the discipline, have the willpower to work on yourself, to give this self-love. And to love others comes to us so easy, but to actually give this love to ourselves is completely different and we find that so difficult for some reason because of what we've been programmed and what we've grown up to believe. It's so important to be so kind and love others, you know, and obviously all, all of that is correct, obviously, <laughs> is to be kind to another, but you have to start with self and you've got to have the willpower, put the time in to look after yourself, to give this self-love. So in this stillness, or feeling stuck, which it feels like I've said that lots of times, use that time wisely. And know that so, so much is actually happening for you to, and for this new life, this new beginning. But you've got to have the discipline we willpower to make changes that's showing that you're practicing this self-love so i'm next going to be using the soul coach in oracle deck let's move those down a bit i do fiddle around don't i guys because i worry about you not seeing them so then after this for you divine feminines then i'm going to um so when i've finished um doing the divine feminines energy i'm going to go on and get a message of what you need to know about your twin flame journey for this month of july as well so what is it we need to know for the Divine Feminines. Nice clear messages for this month of July 2022. How they're feeling. What they're experiencing. What they're going to be learning. And what's it bringing to the Divine Feminines. <clears throat> Doing it again. These are playing me up at the moment, guys. When I'm cutting the cards for some reason. surrender <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck is fulfillment this new life is going to bring you so much fulfillment so surrender to this new life surrender to divine don't control this don't try and force this just allow it to come to you to flow to you have the discipline to look after yourself to to be able to be in that place of relaxation um, to, to give to yourself this self-love. You're going to be pushed to surrender for this new beginning. 
And the way that you're actually living your life now is new. You're learning more and more to be able to live your life in your truth. Because you are remembering who you are. And it may feel as if sometimes you're in your old life, your new life, but it's all going to be coming together more and more. This is becoming more easier for you to live your life, being your authentic self. That's why it's so important to have the willpower, the discipline to, to give this self-love to yourself. Because you, you, when you do that, you feel refreshed and your view on life isn't distorted. It's with clear, true vision. And you're able to put love into the situation, whatever, whatever you come across. Your new life, your new beginning, I know your focus will be, you know, I want this new life of my divine masculine, but you and your divine masculine have been in this preparation, working towards this new life for you to be together. But individually, you're, you, what you're actually both doing now is a new way of living. So give in and surrender. Trust in this new life. And then when there are quiet times, we feel things still and stuck. Use that time wisely. Have that discipline. This willpower to give this time to yourself. Let go of when, how, where this new life with your divine muscle, you know, when it's all going to happen. And it will reveal itself. And I feel it will, you'll see more and more of this in this month of July. Things will unfold when you get out of your own way and surrender. And the divine masculine's energy is wonderful as well. And so much progress. Everything is falling into place for the divine masculine and it's really gonna show for itself during this month of July. And that is because of what's been going on with you, Divine Parents, because you have been doing the inner work. Because you are understanding what this journey is about. It is about yourself. The more you're focused on yourself and you get out of your own way and allow God, you're, you're helping your Divine Masculine. So I'm gonna just move those down um, so I can get the guidance of what you need to know for this month of July from this beautiful deck from Liz music through sorry messages through music intuitive oracle for twin flames what you need what gods the universe the angels want you to know for this month of July 2022 about your twin flame journey and the divine masculines have got new fresh start everything just working out this fertility, new beginnings, and that's coming through for you as well, Divine Feminines. What else is it that Twin Flames need to know about their relationship, their journey during this month of July 2022? Nice, clear message, please. The doors are open and your dreams are coming true. Be happy. Come on, guys. This is a time of miracles. Expect to see the bees at this time. The door is open for reunion, union, communication and miracles when you focus on the love. That is why this has come out, guys. Huh. You can't get any better than that, can you? So you're going to be, you could be seeing lots of bumblebees at the moment. And bumblebees is about communication, miracles. Beautiful. <laughs> This is the time, this month, you are going to be seeing these miracles. The door is open. So have this discipline, this willpower, sorry, willpower to put, give to yourself. Don't be, 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 be it, don't allow it to be such a big thing. You know, it's so easy, it really, it is simple. As we had a simplicity at the bottom of the deck of one of the decks. This should be easy for us to give this self-love to ourselves. And it will get easier when you have the willpower, the discipline to keep 
on top of this self-love and surrender and get out of your own way. The door is open. Communication is coming. This is a time for reunion, union, reconciliation. So focus on the love. Focus on you. And at the bottom of the deck is your twin flame is hooked. Keep being you. They are hooked on you and they love the real you. Yeah, they are hooked on you. And you know this. When you're in your truth and you're calm and you're trusting, you know that anyway. It's only when you don't make time for yourself and you get caught up with the chatter in your head and what's going on in the 3D that's confusing and you're not trusting yourself that we get upset and we think, oh, maybe I've got it wrong or going crazy. No, that isn't the truth. That means you're disconnecting from God, from the universe, from the angels. You're disconnected of who you truly are. Which means you're disconnecting from your divine masculine. Because when you're in your truth, that is where your divine masculine is. So the doors are open. They're going to be opening wide this month of July 2022 for these, this new life, this new beginning. For you and your divine masculine because of how it comes through. So thank you so much for joining me for today for this beautiful July 2022 Twin Flame meeting. If any of you guys are interested in any of the services I offer, all the information is in the description box down below. I do private readings as a private membership and there's a phone call service. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. And I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying? Oh.